In the previous episode, Blade Man started attacking Hayakawa and Haimno sacrificed herself to save him. Now, this makes Hayakawa very sad. Because, apart from him no one is left alive here. After some time Blade Man comes near the girl. He tells her that the fiend has fled away. So, he wants to go after her to catch her. But the girl refuses him. He tells Blade Man that their target was the chainsaw's heart. So, there is no need to go after her. In the meantime, we see Hand Ghost. It approaches Denji and starts his chainsaw. This causes Denji's chainsaw to come out and he stands up to face them. The girl and Blade Man are surprised to hear chainsaw's sound. Blade Man also gets ready to face Denji and says that he will cut him in half this time. But after hearing this, the girl asks him to be careful, because their main target is Denji's heart. That's why, she doesn't want to damage it in any condition. Denji was also listening to her words. However, he has no idea who those people are and what they ultimately want to do with him. After this, he starts telling them that they are bad guys. And he just loves bad guys, because nobody is going to complain when he kills them. So, Denji is ready to attack them. Hearing this, Blade Man also prepares himself to face him and then says that he will put him down again. Now, they are ready to face each other, and Denji goes to attack Blade Man first. He is very excited for this fight, but in reality, Blade Man is also powerful, so he is not scared of Denji at all and attacks him. We then learn that the girl's name is Sawatari. She tells her other team over walkie-talkie that they are in combat with Chainsaw on the third floor of the West Narama building, so she asks them to bring back up. Meanwhile, we see that Hayakawa is also badly injured and a lot of blood is coming out of his body. On the other hand, a dangerous fight was going on between Denji and Blade Man, and both are trying to attack each other. In the beginning, Denji seems to be more powerful, and he is beating Blade Man badly. But now Blade Man also starts protecting himself from Denji's attack, and starts attacking him using stones. Now because of this, Denji seems to be getting weak in front of him. During this, we see that Blade Man's speed was more than Denji. But still, Denji does not accept his defeat in front of him, and he has injured Blade Man a lot. At the same time, some of his other people also come here. They have guns in their hand and asks Blade Man for permission to finish Denji. To which Blade Man says that they can aim for his arms or his heart. Hearing this, his men try to shoot Denji. But Denji kills them before they can. Just then Blade Man starts attacking again. Because of which, a dangerous fight starts again between the two. This time Blade Man manages to wound Denji, which upsets Denji. Meanwhile, Blade Man's man tries to shoot Denji again, but he defends himself from his attack. Now, he makes that man hostage. He tells Blade Man that this guy is one of them. So, if he moves even one millimeter, then his face is going to turn into mincemeat. Blade Man gets angry at him because of this and sits down in front of him. Seeing this, Denji thinks that Blade Man has surrendered to him. But suddenly, Blade Man disappears from his place and stands behind Denji. Denji was very surprised by this. But in reality, Blade Man has cut them both in half. And Denji's body is also split into two parts. This is how, Blade Man finally manages to kill Denji. He then takes Denji's dead body. Because he is going to take it with him. And then he asks one of his men to get the car. Hearing this, his man immediately goes to get the car. And Blade Man says that Chainsaw's friends should all be shot dead by now. After this, something melts down from Blade Man's body and he comes in the form of a human. He says that devil hunters are only humans, so they cannot win against guns. Now, there was silence everywhere, because too many devil hunters were killed at once today. On the other hand, Makima and his partner were also killed. That's why, all other passengers in that train are scared. But the people who killed Makima and his partner start talking that they are almost at the station. So, they decide to move to another carriage and blend in with the civilians. Suddenly, Makima comes alive. They are surprised to see her and again try to shoot. But this time Makima kills them all. Next, we see Kyoto Station, where Tendo and Kiros are waiting for Makima to arrive. Meanwhile, a young man comes to them. He informs that Special Divisions 1, 2, 3, and 4 were all ambushed in Tokyo. Tendo and Kuros both are shocked to hear this from him, because they could not believe this. Then Kuros starts saying that they waited there for nothing, because Makima is also dead. Still, they wait for the arrival of the train. When the train arrives at the station, all the passengers are looking very scared. But then Makima also stands in front of them. Kuros and Tendo are completely shocked to see her alive, because they just heard that Makima is also dead. But she is standing in front of them, and that's why they keep looking at her. Then Makima tells them that she has come under gunfire on the Shinkansen. There are bodies that need to be killed up and the luncheon is cancelled. But there was a lot of blood on Makima's clothes. So, Tendo and Kuros start asking about it. 
Then Makama tells them that it is not hers and she was not shot. After this, we see that Makama has killed the murderers very badly. That's why, the police force also comes here in some time. Kuro starts saying to Makama, it seems like it is total chaos over there. But they haven't got any specifics and checking the casualties right now. After that, he asks if they should go to Tokyo to assist. But Tendo refuses for this, because they would not make it in time. Then Makama starts saying that their target is probably Denji. But they will deal with it here. After that, she tells Kuros to borrow 30 convicts serving a life sentence or worse from the Ministry of Justice. Apart from this, she tells Tendo to rent out a nearby shrine at the highest altitude possible. Now, it seems from her words that she is definitely going to do something big. But her clothes are got dirty because of the blood. So, she tells them to get her some clean clothes. In the next scene, we see some people who are being taken to Makama. All these people are eating and drinking very well but they have no idea what is going to happen to them. That's why, these people start asking each other where they are going. But after hearing this, the officer asks them to be quiet. Now, all these people again get busy and eating. On the other hand, Makama has changed her dirty clothes, and she is ready wearing new. Only then Tendo comes here, and informs her that they are almost here. To which Makama says that she will be there soon. In some time, all the convicts are brought to one place, which is a very high place. On the other hand, Blade Man and Sawatari are carrying Denji's dead body with them. Blade Man tells Sawatari that he won't be able to fight for a while now. Blade Man's people were having trouble dragging Denji's dead body. Because it is too heavy, so, he calls another man for help. After hearing this, his companion comes to him, but he could not understand where he is supposed to hold. Suddenly he starts feeling that something is going to happen to him. Due to this, other people with him get confused, because till now everything was absolutely fine here. So, Sawatari starts asking him about it, but even he could not understand anything. Suddenly, he dies in a very mysterious way. Seeing this, Sawatari and everyone else are completely shocked. They could not understand how this happened, because there was no one else here except them. But Sawatari understood that this danger is too big. So, she immediately contacts other team and asks if Team C have confirmed Makama's death. Then a person from Team E talks to Sawatari. He tells her that they have been unable to contact Team C. But then suddenly, he also dies. Now, this makes Sawatari even more scared. She understood that Makama is doing all this. In the next scene, we see that all the convicts have been blindfolded. Apart from this, Kuros and Tendo are also have been blindfolded. But we see Makama standing in front of them and she was actually killing Sawatari's people from here in Tokyo. But Kuros still doesn't understand what Makama is doing. So, he asks Tendo why they also need to be blindfolded. To which Tendo says that Makama reports directly to the chief cabinet secretary. So, ordinary devil hunters are not authorized to know which devils she has contracts with. Now, Makama comes to a convict and asks him to repeat the name Shuzumasima. Then he repeats that name. Makama starts wringing her hands and smiling. On the other hand, Blade Man asks his people to keep Denji's dead body inside the car. But suddenly something starts happening to him, and then we learn that his name is Shuzu Mishima. Now, Blade Man starts getting angry over Mishima. Just then Makama kills him also by using her power. This makes Blade Man and Sawatari more surprised. Because till now, they did not understand how all this is happening. But with the death of Mishima, that convict also dies, who had spoken the name of Mishima. After this, Makama comes to another convict, and asks him to repeat the name of Takashi Inao. So, he repeats the name of Takashi Inao as soon as Takashi Inao dies shortly thereafter. But with this, this time also that convict also dies. Some of the people of Sawatari panic because of this and immediately start running away. But now it is impossible for them to escape from Makama. And Makama starts killing them too easily. Meanwhile, one of these killers makes a girl hostage. Because he thinks that by doing so he can save his life from Makama. But this does not bother Makama and she kills him very easily. This is how Sawatari's people are killed. But all the convicts are also dead. However, Blade Man and Sawatari still happen to be alive. On the other hand, Kuros and Tendo are still blindfolded. But Makama now asks them to remove. She tells Tendo and Kuros that she has finished what she can do from here. So, she is returning to Tokyo. But Tendo and Kuros are unable to say anything on this matter. Because they are not able to understand anything. On the other hand, Blade Man and Sawatari also understand that it has stopped. So, Sawatari also comes to know that this ridiculous power is probably Makama's. After this, she plans to run away from here immediately with Blade Man. But Blade Man was very upset. 
because he couldn't understand how Makima is still alive. Now, Blade Man and Sawatari decide to leave, but at the same time Kobni comes in front of them, because when the old lady tried to kill Arai and her, Arai stood in front of Kobni to save her, due to which, Kobni's life was saved and Arai sacrificed himself while saving her. So, she wants to kill Blade Man and Sawatari, so that, he can avenge the death of Arai and the others. Seeing this, Sawatari immediately summons her snake here, because with its help she wants to kill Kobni. But Kobni is also very talented. She somehow saves herself. Meanwhile, Blade Man tries to shoot her, but Kobni still manages to save herself and promptly chops off his arm. Apart from this, she also shoots him. Seeing this, Sawatari tries to shoot her. But Kobni still manages to save herself and puts Denji's dead body in front of her. Now because of this, Sawatari cannot do anything to her. But Blade Man was also badly injured at this time. So, Sawatari doesn't want to waste her time fighting with Kobni. She then immediately gets inside the car with Blade Man. Seeing this, Kobni tries to shoot her. But Sawatari manages to escape. Denji was also dead. That's why, Kobni becomes more sad and feels sorry about trying to kill him last time. But now all these things were of no use. So, she starts asking herself why she is still saying that. And what is she doing? Now, Kobni starts crying a lot. Because she was missing Arai, who sacrificed himself to save her. But this angered Kobni as well and she killed the old lady to avenge Arai's death. But she could not save Arai. So, she feels sorry for this and thinks that everything is her fault. Now because of this, she starts feeling guilty and decides to leave the job. Because she can't take it anymore and this job is driving her crazy. She decides to tell Makima about it when she meets her. Meanwhile, Makima is back in Tokyo with Kuro's and Tendo. There, she meets with Madoka. Makima then asks how many in the special division survived. Then Madoka tells that special division 1, 2, 3, and 4 all came under gunfire. So, almost all the humans died. Now, Makima understands that shooting specifically targeting the special division. That means, the gun devil is very likely involved. Madoka tells that he has an order from the superiors. And due to the personnel shortage all four special divisions will merge into one. So, Tokyo Special Division 4 will be under her command from now on. Hearing this, Kuro's and Tendo starts to panic. Meanwhile, Madoka gives Makima a letter, which is actually his resignation letter, because he wants to leave the job of Devil Hunter. Seeing this, Makima asks him about it. Then Madoka says that it is getting sinister in the special division. So, it is either quit or die. After this, Makima does not say anything about this and starts leaving from here. But Madoka tells Makima that he has one last question for her. He then asks Makima how much of this had she anticipated. To which, Makima says that she cannot discuss public safety's internal affairs with civilians. She then thanks Madoka for his service and says that she will pass his resignation letter. Makima then leaves with Kuro's and Tendo. Meanwhile, Kuro's tells Makima that it is not like they are joining her special division. And Tendo also says that they are just here as advisors. So they will be on their way back to Kyoto in one week. To which Makima tells them that it is a shame. Because there are so many great restaurants in Tokyo. After this episode ends, watch the video of the left side if you have missed the previous part, and subscribe to any summary for more anime recaps.